The reason for doing the mission was to be able to explain the important public interest responsibilities of the FCA. And it's about saying, as a young organization, we've got more to do to develop our, our thinking and our understanding of our role, how we explain it to people, how we react when we you know, come across you know, the issues that affect us, and how we make the decisions about which things we prioritize. How do we decide to do this thing and be a wait or not do that thing or say, I'm afraid that thing's going to have to come later? And this is all the more important in the current context because if you take issues like Brexit, which are putting a huge, obviously, in a sense, you know, additional responsibility upon us to, to do what the government needs to have done, we've got to make more choices of that sort. So it's even more important that we understand our mission and our story. I think the biggest thing we learned from the consultation was to, was, was to be bold. People pushed it. Of course, people came from different perspectives, and that we understood over 150 people and organizations responded, which, which I'm very grateful. And if you put all of them together and the many different points that were made, it was go further. Go further in terms of explaining yourselves, in terms of you know, explaining how you think about harm, how you think about remedies. Tell us how your thought processes work. People want to understand us, and I can, under you know, I can appreciate why they want to do that. So I think the. You know, the, the bottom line from it was be bold. We did in doing the mission really want to face up to this question, do we you know, give a sort of broadly average level of protection to everybody all of the time or do we think more about vulnerability and in a sense do more about vulnerability? And we have said quite clearly in the mission that actually we do put a lot of emphasis on vulnerability, we think that's right, but it only then, in a sense, transfers the question to another hard one, which we're going to be doing more work on this year and come out with another, in a sense, another piece of explanation as to what we do, which is how do we think about vulnerability, because it isn't a simple, it isn't a simple concept at all. Uh, we want to be more transparent in terms of, of the protection we give to consumers, and we want to be more proactive. The FCA regulates 56,000 firms. That's a lot, more than twice the number that our predecessor, the FSA, did. So we have to balance many different firms across many different sectors and how we maintain contact with those firms, many of whom are small, don't have a lot to invest in, in regulation, and how they maintain contact with us because it's as important as it is for us to understand them, it's important for them to understand us. Now, we're, we're, cut, we're, we're working on and, and, and have been putting into practice ideas for doing more in that respect. We'll give you an example. We're doing a lot more regional engagement, regional visits to meet firms and groups of firms to maintain more contact. We've got more ideas, and we want to develop those ideas through the work we're doing to review the effectiveness of an operation of our supervision, for instance.